Howdy y'all, Bitches here, and welcome back to episode 3 of my Waking Up Developer Commentary. Um, this episode I want to go to Grove of Shrooms and get some permanent food going on and get that set up for myself. But first, let me just show you what I've been doing off camera, just chilling. Uh, this is kind of cool. Uh, this is basically a player-only bridge. You can jump on this and go across. Uh, you can use this technique to make it so that you can jump to places and have a stair step for yourself. Monsters will not use it, even if it's down like this. If you're really paranoid though, you can still do that. So that's pretty cool. That's a good technique. Um, I came back here. I just farmed some trees over here in... Um, got some apples too. Just farmed some trees here at the spawn for a change of scenery. And also these oak trees, they drop apples where the birch trees do not. Um, in case I do die, I made it easy for myself to just come back and immediately chop these large trees down. I put some blocks around them to help me get up. And I left myself some more supplies here uh, back at the spawn uh, to help me recover should I die. Anyway, uh, enough talking about potentially dying, because as you remember, I really want to get through this with um, no deaths at all. I would, my goal is to have a zero death run. I made a shortcut tunnel between the spawn and here. Uh, just to reduce travel time, and dunk. and I've made sure to light up the place very well. Um, sometimes if an area is I'm not going to travel back to, I'll intentionally leave it unlit to draw off mob spawning in that area. And is this skeleton on me, or is he just walking around? Right, no, he's not on me. So anyway, let me show you my base properly, without that silverfish apocalypse going on. Um, I just made a platform and made a staircase here with a simple, you know, simple jumping to access it. This way nothing walks up here to my base. This is just a temporary thing. It's ugly and simple, but it works. And here's everything I've got. This is the wood chest. I put all my wood in there. Here's everything I have. I got some iron swords and iron helmets and some ingots by killing zombies. And so here's, this is my inventory. Like, so what you're looking at is everything I have at this point in the game. And here's my Bruce over here with the thing. I'm saving him for something special. i got a plan for him. I've got one wool. I've got the iron block ready to go. Although I could break that down and use it to make buckets for lava buckets if I wanted to. But I'm going to try not to use lava buckets. Uh, I mean, there, there's no problem. Uh, you can play the map however you want to. But I'm just I'm kind of making up rules for myself. I want to try to avoid tunneling, and I want to avoid using lava buckets uh, unless absolutely necessary. If I can't uh, can't beat an area, and this is kind of dark, and my OCD is kicking in, and I have to go over here and light this up. Okay, so what else do I got? I got my tree farm. I dug it one deep, and uh, digging into this made me get some silverfish. And but most of the time, actually, I noticed I can kill silverfish by jumping and critting them with paper cut and that stops them from calling anything so that's actually not really a huge problem um, intentionally though i did start punching the silverfish i got a little carried away i just wanted more experience and as you can see i'm level 39 i have killed so many enemies uh, off camera here is my zombie pit i dug this out and one thing i did to make the silverfish not jump up is like i would mine the bottom block like mine that block that silverfish he falls, then I mine the top block, and I kept the silverfish in the pit, and then I used the fire, and I came back, and I looked this way, and I basically put the fire on this rear block, and then stood here, and all the silverfish just died in the fire. Um, okay, so anyway, this is my zombie pit, and, well, the fire is lighting it up now, so nothing should spawn in here, but I just came down here, and I used paper cutter to kill zombies pretty easily. Did you drop an ingot? Whoa, whoa. Okay, so stuff still spawns in here. And I've got these trap doors to allow me access while preventing the zombies from escaping. And so yeah, I just sat here for like a while waiting on trees to grow. And well not, I don't wait on trees to grow, I just bone meal them. Waiting on leaves to decay. That's the thing I have to wait on is uh, instead of wasting my time breaking the leaves, I was just like, instead of doing that, I'll come kill zombies while I wait till leaves to um, break down. Because you can speed grow the trees with bone meal, but you still have to wait for the leaves to decay because what's going to happen is if you sit here and bone meal birch trees really fast and just chop the logs, the leaves stay 
and you end up not getting leaf decay and you can actually run out of saplings like that by not letting the leaves decay and dropping the saplings. So, uh, whoa, whoa, get off me. Uh, most of the time when I fight the zombies, I just stay here because this trap door seems to kind of discourage their pathfinding from charging me. And so I have plenty of... Eh, hold a sec, just stop. There we go, stop spawning. Um, okay. So yeah, this has given me tons and tons of zombie flesh, and it's also given me some iron ingots, some helmets, and some swords. So, anyway, uh, let me... Oh wow, still spawning. I haven't really... I usually don't take too many hits. I think it's just because I'm talking now. I'm not concentrating as much. Um, so I'm going to leave you guys. Anyway, let's carry on. Let's push on. Today I want to make headway into Grove of Shrooms. But first, the first thing I want to do is secure my path to intersection one. And let me back up a second. And I'm pretty sure there's creeper spawners in there. I mean, I know they are. But even if I hadn't made the map and I knew everything that was coming, seeing those creepers pouring out, I'm like, okay, there's creeper spawners in there. So I'm armored. I've got some decent armor. Um, I feel a lot better if I had blast protection to stop creepers. But I'm going to use some real food here. And uh, I've got a pick. So yeah, I'm going to knock down my wall I made. And I'm going to come in here and see if I can... If you want to blow up, that's okay. Okay. Okay, so that's that room taken care of. And, uh... What the hell? What the hell is this? Now, I'm not acting right now. I seriously am confused what I'm looking at here. Is this a chunk error? Jeb. Jeb. Jeb, your game. Jeb. Jeb, dude. Your game. All right, well, hold on one sec. Let me... Uh, Jeb, what happened, man? Let me fill this in. Okay, I think I've secured this area. Um, Jeb, Jeb, you're, you got to fix your game, man. Okay, hold on a second. I'll let me take a look at this in MC Edit and get a feel for what's happened here. I, I'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, I am back. All right. Um. So what happened was Minecraft had a chunk error over four chunks directly on the intersection. And so four chunks here uh, centered around this intersection were replaced with normal Minecraft terrain. And what I did was I opened up a fresh copy of Waking Up and copied and pasted those four chunks back and replaced my corrupted intersection with a fresh, fresh version. Uh, otherwise, this map has been unchanged. Um, that was a really unfortunate disadvantage to me because it overwrote this room I had already conquered. And I just used more torches, so I'm down even more torches now, uh, having to relight the place because I lost all my lighting progress that I had made. Anyway, okay, so technical snafu. Minecraft just decided that I had to relight the area with fresh torches all over again. Um, I'm not going to give myself more torches to compensate. It's not that huge of a deal. I'll just move on. Okay, so anyway, back to getting some food for us. Uh, I'm gonna leave all this here, actually, because that's a good backup if I, if I die and, well, do I need the um, ax, maybe? Let me, I'm gonna grab the ax, I think. And I want the bow. 
my yeah, I want the bow on my bar, not the axe right now. But I will take the axe, oh, and I'll, I'll take the shovel too in case I need it for something. Um, and I'll get some more. I'll get the pork chop too, so I can top off my health with rotten flesh and then high saturate on half of drumstick. Anyway, okay, so we've got we all float, which yes, that is a reference to the movie It. We all float down here. Yeah, that. Uh, it's supposed to be creepy. Um, it's a water area. Uh, Boomer Castle is going to be a really fun place. Um, but this is what I want right now. Grove of Shrooms. So it's going to be Mushroom Grove with creepers in it. And also, I'm going to go ahead and get this. I'm going to get Chapter 2 here. And I'll go ahead and take it, and I'm going to go ahead and take the chest, too. And now I wish I had kept my axe on my bar. Oh, well. And I'll just pillar back up. And let me go, let me go put the chapter back in my, in my base real fast. All right, I put the chapter back in the chest there. So let's get right down to it and let's secure this place. I really want to get, I'm sick and tired. I am sick and tired of this rotten flesh. I really want, um, I really want that mushroom stew. And okay, so no enemies yet. If there's no enemies here, I'm gonna quickly come in here and try and make as much progress lighting as I can. I am ready to rapidly switch to there's a creeper. Come on, come on. No enemies. Oh, this is fantastic. Maybe this is this is kind of making up for that terrible, terrible luck uh, I had at the start where I just got like nothing but skeletons coming in. Okay, I'm going to head out now and I'm just going to take that progress I made with my... No, 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 don't blow up. So, okay, that's progress. I lit up a lot of ground there and didn't have my progress undone by creeper explosions. So, oh, oh, I need to hunt spiders. That just reminded me. I need to hunt spiders. And part of me actually wants to aggro some of those endermen and see if I can hook myself up with some ender pearls. Um, do I dare chance it though? I think I do. I think I do dare. So let me make an enderman shelter. Come on right at you. Come on. There you go. Are you just going to stand there? Oh. Well now. Ow, ow, ow. Damn. Okay, so just one ender pearl from that. You see how fast he was hitting me? They uh, endermen do a lot of damage. They, I think they do more than. Um, I think they do more than zombies. I'm pretty sure they do. So let me top off my health with that. Okay, so let's. Yeah. Ow. That's mean. All right, whatever. Okay, so I've got 10 torches now. That's not good. Let me uh get I'm going to get some coal and I might pause here while I mine some coal actually. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh I mined 31 coal. I used up that one pick that was almost broken and got a little bit into this pick here. And so I'm going to make some coal, replenish my supplies, and I think I'm going to just go ahead and make all of this into torches because I've been using wood to burn because I've got infinite wood I don't really care um, it's not a huge deal okay I'm going to put this up here I want that ender pearl on my bar in case I need like a panic escape and while I mine cold nothing interesting happened uh, I didn't get attacked by anything so let's press on and oh whoa Creeper! No! Oh. oh, see, that's that's why you do the uh, excessive torch placement when you're fighting around creepers. 
it's just because they uh, they have a habit of he took fall damage. All right, this should kill this guy. There we go. Trying to conserve my arrows a little bit. And let me light up the ceiling too. And I want to light up right here as well. Ooh, I saw spawner flames. Okay, let me address that spawner right now and get rid of it. Let me put some damage on you. And then I'm going to put some damage on this creeper here. And that should put them in the two-hit territory with this. Okay, three-hit. Come on. Come on, get down here. There we go. Is this silverfish? No, okay. And I'll just get rid of this right now. There we go. Um, and we've got plenty of coal here. This is great. Uh, I know for a fact that there is... Uh, oh, hold on a sec. Coming up on dark areas. Are there any monsters around? There... Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, dropped right on top of me. Okay, so there's a spawner right up there in the ceiling. Uh, that's the only thing that could mean. It, well, it could mean two things. It's the spawner in the ceiling. Or... Yeah, I saw the flame right there. Um, I never really bury spawners that deep. They're always like one block deep. Uh, and that's so you can see the flames and you can actually detect them and give players like a fair sh chance at... See? It's right there. A fair chance of um, finding it. Okay, so I'm just going to do this. Up we go. And it's like right here. There it is. Okay, there's a zombie down there. All right, so there's another one right up there. All right, so I'm going to rush that. And then let me kill this zombie. You're going to blow up. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and rush that next spawner. How much damage is that going to do? I don't have too much time here. Before another spawns. Put that there. Okay. Let's find it. It's somewhere around here. There it is. Got it. So yeah, if you see, if you if you are trying to figure out where spawners come from, I mean where the monsters are coming from, uh, all you got to do is just calm down, uh, don't panic, and carefully look at the terrain and look for the uh, s the smoke and the flames from the spawner. And that is infinite mushroom soup right there. That is like the best thing ever. So I'm just gonna. I'm so I'm so happy. You have no idea. I'm so happy to get rid of that that zombie flesh, and just in case there's more spawners here that I didn't find, let me uh, light the place up even more. Because I want to make sure I don't have creepers coming in behind me. Um, in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light up to here. Okay, this looks like some naturally defensive terrain here, so I don't, I don't think I have to worry with larger numbers of monsters coming up. I know monsters can climb vines. I don't know if their AI tells them to do. I'm going to make another walk through here and just see if anything spawns. And I'll be ready to switch to my... Oh, yep, right there. I see... Uh, got him. It's right there. I saw it. Where is it? There it is. Got it. Okay. So, let me get my sword out before I turn my HUD off so I can still right click to block even though you can't see it now. So there's a spawner there. That one's pretty safe, I think. Anybody see any smoke or flames? Spot check, DC equals 26. Whoop! He took fall damage, so he died easier. That's kind of nice. That's one thing about the ceiling-based enemies is that they will take fall damage. And while it is can be problematic to have enemies falling from the ceiling down on you, it's important to remember that, like, uh, as far as the gameplay goes, they're going to be weaker than normal enemies because they took fall damage. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. It can be kind of nice to have enemies that are already hurt when you fight them. So... Hold on a sec. There's a spawner right there up on the ceiling somewhere. 
Anybody see some flames? I'm getting distracted now by my own torches. I want to say it's going to be... I'm trying to remember where I saw the creeper from. Oh well, whatever. I think I've lit it up well enough. Um, Alright, so... Uh, this episode's dragged on for a bit. I tell you what, let's have episode 3 be me getting to... Uh, well, it it kind of did slow me down. I took a big chunk out of my day dealing with that um, chunk error and then copying and pasting in MC Edit. So, whatever. Uh, episode 3, I'll, I'll cut it here. And then episode 4 will be me taking on uh, the rest of Grove of Shrooms and securing that area and getting awesome, awesome, delicious mushroom soup uh, forever. And it'll be wonderful. Did I... I, I just... Urgh, I, I hate the swirls, that hunger swirls to just constantly spam your screen when you have rotten flesh. I hate that. So anyway, episode four, I'll be taking that on. Uh, episode three ends here. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.